Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Nate Jeff from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles. Uh, today we are back in Diva again. Uh, we're going to check out some interesting little tips and tricks for creating nice ARP sequences inside of Diva. As usual, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you stay up to date with our latest videos. Let's dive in and check this out. All right, here we go. I've uh, got a copy of Diva open and um, we're just going to start from scratch. I'll just show you a couple of tricks to make your appreciator patterns a little bit more interesting. Um, I've just got a sort of chord pattern programmed in here. Um, let's uh, let's actually just create something from scratch. Uh, we're gonna grab a template. Uh, we'll go with a Jupiter. Oh, let's go with a Juno. We'll go with a Juno, and let's just create, kind of create something to work with here. We're gonna just turn the appreciator on for starters, and we'll leave it at its default setting for now, just while we kind of create a sound to work with. Uh, we're going to want something kind of plucky, so let's bring down our filter. Set that to 16th. And bring up your envelope. Might as well make this a little bit stereo as well. So let's uh, check out the um, voices here. We'll set the stack to two. We're not going to do a massive stack. We're just going to detune the uh, bigger pardon. We're going to just set the stack onto our pan mod stack index. We'll turn that up so we get a nice stereo sound. <laughs> That's fine to work with for now. I've got a nice little plucky sound going here. Um, now let's check out the appreciator. As you can see, currently we're in up mode, which means the notes are going to run from the first note played or registered. Uh, it'll run up and it's currently set to one octave. So as per usual, I mean, this is pretty standard controls in appreciators. Uh, we can go with two octaves, for instance. You can adjust the progression. And the played mode, so as played um, would basically be as you play them on the keyboard, that'll register the first, second, third, and so on. Uh, up, down, up and down, one and two. One, uh, number two will actually repeat the last note before coming back down again. And then random. So what I want to do is kind of get a slightly more random pattern here, but the random is kind of too random. Um, so what I like to do set this to up for now is to actually edit the restart amount so what this does is we have three notes currently playing at once it'll go one two three one two three and loop like that if we set it to restart at five it will run as one two three one two and then restart again so let's just take a listen to what that does it gives you a much nicer almost like polyrhythm kind of vibe Thank you. 
So I like that groove. Um, the sort of uneven numbers always kind of work really nicely with this. It gives you that kind of syncopated feel. You can do that with a seven as well. And that's really cool as well. Now, this doesn't seem pretty obvious, but you can actually automate the restart value in Diva as well, which can give you some really interesting kind of quite organic results when it comes to your appreciator patterns. So let's just, uh, we'll hit the right button here and we will set this to anything. It should register. There we go, just need to have it running to register that. And you'll see now when we look at our automation, we have a Diva restart value here. So we can actually automate this and take a listen to what the patterns do now as we dynamically change them. Uh, we'll kind of go up to... We'll go up to a 9, come back down to a 5, maybe a 3 down here. Oh, sorry, you can't do 3. We'll do 4, 5, maybe... Six of here. And let's just take a listen to what happens now. We can take a look at Diva as it resets that appreciator every single time. And let's whack this into two octaves because we've got more notes playing when you have two octaves, so it kind of even more shifting of the appreciator line. So let's take a listen now. So as you can see, we just put in a few extra automation parameters there as well. Let's just play around with this and see what we get now. And lastly, just for the fun of it, let's uh, just try and make the sound a little bit more interesting. We'll just add in a random hold LFO, disable the mod wheel for that, depth mod off. And we'll assign the LFO 1 to our filter cutoff. And we'll set this to uh, unipolar mode, so we'll keep it from 0 and up. And there you have it, some pretty interesting stuff that you can do with a pretty simple appreciator, just a little bit of tweaking, and you can get some really nice, interesting movement in your appreciator lines. Right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back again soon with more content here at Marula Music. Uh, like, subscribe, notifications, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys.